Hello, 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 and welcome. Welcome to the bomb challenge, okay? Welcome to the fall session of the Business Opportunity Marketing Blitz. I'm Takia Hansley from takiadhansley.com, and I will be your host and teacher, so to speak, for the next six weeks. So, um, I don't want to waste any time. We're going to jump right in. If you don't know how you ended up here, that's okay. All right. You'll figure it out while you're on, but just hang in there with us and actually hang in to the end to make sure that, um, that this is what you want to do. And again, welcome, welcome, welcome to the six weeks. Okay. Welcome to the business opportunity marketing blitz. All right. So what we're going to do is, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to rock and roll through this thing. Um, as you come in, please mute your, um, mute your mics. Hi, Daria. How are you? Thank you. Um, let's see. So why are you here? Uh, there's a few reasons that you could be here. You're here either because you're ready to create momentum in your network marketing or coaching business or whatever type of online business you have. You're here um, because you're building within My Lead System Pro. Or, and maybe you're here just because you're ready to challenge yourself to take your entire business to the next level. That's what we'll be doing over these next six weeks. So before we really get into the content for tonight, I want to make sure that I cover the expectations and ask your permission for a few things, okay? So what you can expect from me is you can expect that I'm going to tell you what you need to hear which a lot of times won't be what you want to hear. So um, you also can expect from me to call you on your BS, okay? When you don't show up or when you're giving excuses or um, giving your excuses excuses, you can expect that I'm going to call you on it, okay? That's just my personality. That's the type of person I am. And I really, and I really just want everyone to succeed. So it's my job to push you. It's my job to make sure that you're not accepting anything less than excellence. Okay. You can also expect me to ask more of you than you've been willing to ask of yourself. Like I said, I'm going to push you over these next six weeks. So if you're not here for that, if you're not here for someone to correct you, if you're not here to have someone push you outside of your comfort zone into a space where you can stretch and succeed, then this may not be the place for you. And I'm also going to help you correct your language, okay? When you're using negative, defeating language, I'm going to call you on it. Because, like I said, I'm here to help you grow, okay? And before we even move on, I want to tell you just a little bit about myself and my background and what qualifies me to be able to push you to the next level. And who says that I can correct your language? Why do I feel like? I can take you to the next level. Well, I am a success coach. Success is my specialty, okay? I'm a certified life coach. I'm a certified happiness life, life coach. I specialize in happiness. So a part of being happy is being successful in all areas of your life. So I'm here to help you close the doors to frustration and not being able to see yourself happy. I'm here to help you create a mindset for success so that you're open to it when it comes your way. Okay. So I also want to let you know what I expect from you. Okay. 
you are not allowed over the next six weeks or even after you finish this challenge, you are not allowed to set your mindset to the off position, okay? You are not allowed to live in a space of overwhelm, frustration, or fear. Those are my three curse words, okay? Overwhelm, frustration, and fear are profane in this space, all right? We're here to grow, and you can't grow and be successful if you're dwelling in frustration, overwhelm, or fear. Fear. We're going to kick fear in the face and move into the next level, okay? We're going to move to a new space, a space of conquering, a space of growth, and a space of success. So my expectations of you, I expect you to take responsibility for every win and every loss, every action, and every inaction, okay? If you show up, celebrate that you showed up. Take responsibility for it. Listen, I did that. I stepped up to the plate. If you don't show up, take responsibility for that. You know what? I didn't get my work done today. I just didn't do it, okay? Don't, don't settle for those excuses that we tend to automatically make up. Either you did it or you didn't. Accept that. I didn't get the results that I was expecting this week because I didn't do the work that I was supposed to do this week. Or, oh my gosh, I have so much to celebrate this week. I did an amazing job. It's okay to pat yourself on the back. I'm here to pat you on the back. Take responsibility for it. Don't give me all the credit. I didn't show up for your business. You did. I didn't show up for this webinar. You did. So take responsibility for every step that you're taking. Take responsibility for every win that you get in your business. I also expect you to ask questions. If there's something you don't understand, ask, okay? If you don't get it, ask. That's why I'm here. There's no dumb question except the one you hold on to. So make sure that you ask for clarity and understanding as we move forward, okay? Don't assume, okay? Don't assume what I meant, what I said meant one thing when maybe it meant something else. If you're not sure, ask for clarity, okay? Um, do your best. I don't expect anything less of anyone but your best. You should expect your best. This is your business, okay? It's not my business. This is your business that we're building over these next six weeks. This is your success that we're laying out for the end of this quarter. So do your best. Step up to the plate. Maybe the last nine months you didn't do your best. Maybe you were half-assing at the last nine months. It's okay. That time is over. You're in a whole new chapter. You are blitzing for your success. So maybe yesterday you didn't do your best, but starting tomorrow, you're going to do your best. And I also expect you to be open-minded. Some of the concepts and strategies that I go over over the next six, six weeks may be something new, maybe something you haven't heard before. I just ask that you be open to the concepts, okay? Agree or disagree, but be open to it. And I expect you, with your open mind, to be coachable. Be able to accept criticism. I'm not here to be hard on you. I'm not here to just, oh, uh, you're doing that wrong. That's not what I'm here for. I have a background in education. I used to be a high school math teacher. I understand the sensitivities of the ego. I'm not here to stroke your ego and make you feel good about yourself, but I'm not here to tear down your ego either. So I just ask that you're coachable and open to, um, to my criticism and open to my celebrations because I'm here to celebrate you. I'm here to push you forward. I'm here to give you that pat on your back. And I also expect you to show up, not just for the webinars, which I do expect you to show up every week, but I also expect you to show up for yourself and show up for your business 
every single day. Show up and perform for you. Perform for your business. Perform for your why. Whatever it is that made you decide to go into business for yourself, whoever it is, whatever the situation you're trying to fix or build or eliminate, show up and say, I am here. I am here to make this happen every single day. So what we're doing here over these next six weeks, we are building the habits of a successful business owner, okay? This whole workshop, this whole blitz is about building habits. It's about not doing the things that have been hindering us in the past, but focusing on those things that will move us forward. What do successful business owners do? Successful business owners have successful habits. But before then, you have to be that successful business owner. So what I want you to do right now in the comments is type in the comments, I am a successful business owner. Because you are. Time may not have caught up to you yet. That space may not have entered your realm yet. But you have to claim it be it and live in it right now so when that time comes you're ready and you already know what it's like because you've been operating as a successful business owner and over the last what six weeks right that's what we're doing we're here for six weeks yes you are a successful business owner just checking the chat put it in the chat box i am a successful business owner write it down put it on a sticky note and paste it on your mirror, paste it on your wall, wherever you spend your time, put it on your computer. I am a successful business owner. You have to believe that in order to move forward and to live in that realm. So, which takes me into the be, do, have concept, okay? You don't have to have in order to be. You have to be in order to have. Okay, you have to be a successful business owner and do the things that successful business owners do in order to have the things that successful business owners have. Okay, so first, it's all in your being. Who are you? Who is the person that's that successful business owner? Okay, if if yesterday you weren't that person, if earlier today you weren't that person. When you wake up tomorrow, that's who you have to be. So tonight I want you to figure out, and we're gonna go over some things that you can do to help you be a successful business owner. But I want you tonight, when we get off this training, I want you to focus on who a successful business owner is. And I want you to picture yourself as that successful business owner. You will be that person. What do you look like as a successful business owner? What does it feel like being a successful business owner? I want you to get that whole picture. Set a scene of a movie in your head of you as a successful business owner. And every day, I want you to get in that space. I want you to be that successful business owner. That emotion that you create in that moment will be the emotion and the feeling And those thoughts that will drive you and push you to do what you need to do every day to be that successful business owner. Okay, so here an example of what I'm saying about be, do, and have. What person would you be if you hit the mega millions this week? If you hit the lottery this week, what would change about you? Would would your personality change? Would you change your habits? Would you do things differently? Would you look at things differently? Would you believe would you be one of those people that looks at the left side of the menu before the right side? Okay? And that means, you know, on the left side of the menu, that's where all the food is listed, but on the right side, that's where the prices are. When you go in a restaurant, do you look at the prices before you look at the food or do you look at the food before you look at the prices? Okay? If I have $150 million, I don't care what the food costs. I'm 
I'm going to look down the side of the menu that has the food. I want to see what looks good, not what can my pockets afford today. So I have to be that person right now. I have to, when I go to restaurants, I have to practice looking at the right side, at the left side of the menu to practice looking at the food first. When I go shopping, I have to go and practice just going to the stores that maybe I've never been in before. I have to practice looking at the clothes before I check the price. Try it on before you check the ticket. Okay? Be that person. So every day when you get up, if you know in your mind that successful people have habits, they have routines, then you need to start forming some habits. You need to lay out some routines to do, right? Because you have to be that successful person before you have the money that successful business owners have, okay? So be that person in your mind, in your space, and do the things that that, that person does. And then you, you, you have no choice but to have the things that a successful business person has. And in this space, there are no excuses, okay? So there are no making excuses for why you didn't show up. There's no validating the excuses that you may come up with. You know, I couldn't get my work done. I wasn't, you know, I, I was doing a lot this week. My kids weren't doing well. I had a cold, you know, that when you start off with your, what had happened was before you actually get to the excuse, that's validating your excuses. You're saying, you know, my excuse is okay because this, that, and the third happened. No, your excuse is not okay. Okay? Because right now, it's grind time. We're blitzing. We're making it happen regardless of what's going on around us. Okay? So we're not going to have excuses. We're not going to validate those excuses. And we're also going to kill those limiting beliefs. Okay. Sometimes we come in a space and we want to try something new. We want to do something better. We want to do more. But instead, we have to listen to the person that we used to be. We listen to all the people that beat us down in the past. And we say, you know, I'm not good enough. I don't have the skill set. I can't learn that way. Or, you know, I'm not ready. I'm not open. All these things, all these ideas in your head, maybe you placed them in your head because you failed before, or maybe somebody else placed it in your head because they just, they couldn't see it. They couldn't see your vision. So they just, they put that on you. You know, you'll never be successful in home business. A home business, you know, it's a scam. That's for suckers. Like, you let those people take your money. You let those people take your money every month. You're not making any money. You're breaking even. That's no business. Th those are, that's ludicrous. Ludicrous. We're moving forward. We're getting rid of those limiting beliefs today. We're getting rid of all those negative thoughts that we may have had in the past. We may have had those thoughts this morning, but right now you're in a whole new chapter. You're doing a whole new thing. You have the blueprint right here in your fingerprint, in your hands. You have somebody that's going to guide you and lead you and make sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do. Maybe you just needed a partner in the past. I'm a small group type of person. The only time I like to work by myself as an individual is when I'm doing math. Other than that, I'm a small group personality. I like to be able to bounce ideas off other people. I like to be able to encourage other people and be encouraged by other people. So we're going to use this small group environment to grow, to encourage each other, to move forward together as a unit, to support each other. So all those limiting beliefs you had in the past, we're going to leave them right there in the past. We're moving forward right now from this moment forward. So we're talking about habits. Like I said, we're building habits of successful business owners. So the first habit we're going to start with is a morning routine. Okay. There's a book called Miracle Morning by Shad Elroy. If you haven't read it, I suggest you read it, okay? And I want you to form a morning routine. As you see right here, it says 10 points. Beside personal development, 
um, your personal development should be part of your morning routine. And all that is, is take 20 minutes a day to feed yourself. Okay. A minimum of 20 minutes to feed your mind, your spirit, um, your your thoughts okay to cleanse your thoughts of negativity you can spend this time listening to a wake up call or reading your your bible or reading um your devotionals or reading a personal development book listening to personal development uh podcasts or um listening to meditations or anything like that okay so that's your personal development for 20 minutes every day i'm going to talk about that 10 points in just a minute okay your affirmations and visualizations so i want you to come up with affirmations that encourage you that eliminate your limiting beliefs and move you forward to get your mindset ready for the day okay so i want you to focus on your um affirmations go over your affirmations every day um the book is miracle morning by i think it's shad elroy that may not be the that may not be the author, but it is called Miracle Morning. Um, your effort, so do your affirmations and visualizations every morning as part of your morning routine. Visualize yourself as that successful business owner. Okay. Also, I have it as optional because you know everybody is in a different space with their religious beliefs and um spirituality but prayer meditation and reflection really is something you must do okay so regardless it, it doesn't have to be a religious thing but you need to take time every day just to be still and be quiet and just listen to God or the universe or whatever your connection is in in this space, right? So take that time to pray, meditate, reflect, but just be still, okay? Um, and exercise that's optional too, but when you when you exercise, you get your blood flowing, right? you get more oxygen flowing to your brain and we need that right so exercise again highly recommended not necessarily um a must but it's highly recommended and he your health is your wealth right so affirmations part of your morning routine. I want to just go into a little detail about how to write your affirmations if you've never done it before. Your affirmations should identify those limiting beliefs, okay? So identify what it is that you've been struggling with in the past. So, okay, sorry. Oh, good job. So eliminate those limiting beliefs, right? identify them what did i struggle with in the past maybe in the past i believed that i was not good enough or in the past i believed that i um i'm not techie okay so you've identified that you believed you couldn't do technical stuff now that you know that that belief that you have that belief you can eliminate that belief just by telling yourself i can i learn something new every day okay technology is simple technology is easy 
I'm open to learn the ins and outs of technology, right? So also in those affirmations, identify your goals. What is it you're trying to accomplish? Say it out loud, write it down. Create, and then when you create your affirmation, create your affirmation that does those two things. It negates those limiting beliefs or it confirms the completion of your goals. It doesn't say one day I might maybe, it says I am. So it should, it should confirm the completion of the goals. So make it present tense. I've done this. I'm, you know, I am this, I am this successful business owner that understands technology. Okay. So the first, your assignments for this week are to clean your workspace and post a before and after picture in the group, okay? We're doing this because when you have a clean space around you, you have more space in your mind, right? Uh, you have, when you have junk around you, you have clutter around you, your mind is cluttered. You can't be as creative as possible right so we want to make sure that we have our creative juices flowing we want to make sure that we're um we're open okay so open up the space around you to help open up your mind okay open give yourself a little breathing room right and then write down actually you write it down with pen and paper and don't just type it out write it down use your creative energy to put pen to paper and write down eight to 10 affirmations to include in your morning routine every single day for the next six weeks, okay? And if you are new to this challenge and new to MLSP, your assignment for this week is to set up your MLSP account. And doing that, you will um, use the seven day kickstart, which is already inside the group. So if you haven't had time, to look around the group, um, do that this week and download the seven day kickstart so you can get your MLSP account set up. Um, you'll also have to schedule time to meet with your MLSP coach this week as well, okay? So jot down these assignments, take a screenshot, all right? Clean your workspace and post the before and after picture, write your eight to 10 affirmations, Create your morning routine and then set up your MLSP account. So, like I said, we're here to focus on income producing activities. So, I'm sorry, if y'all can hear my baby snoring, kind of try to block that out, okay? He just came in here, I don't know why, he just needed to be near me and it's okay, right? So <laughs> um, we're going to track our productivity, not just what is it that you do every day, but we're going to track those income producing activities. All right. We're tracking what you're doing that's building your business over the next six weeks. We're going to make sure you're not just busy being busy, but you're busy doing the things that will progress your business, okay? We're getting ready to go over the tracker, but I want you to notice while we go over this tracker that you're not going to see that you get points for sales, signups, leads, and all that. You're here to marry the process, okay? We're marrying the process, divorcing the results, because we already know that the result is you're going to be, that you are a successful business owner. I really don't like that phrase divorce the results because you don't really want to divorce the result you kind of want to embody the result so we're going to marry the process and embody the result the result is that you are a successful business owner you're already there now we're just going to go through the actions okay to do the things that a successful business owner does right so we're going to celebrate your points and productivity all right the results you're already there you're a successful business owner so we're just waiting on time to catch up with us right 
if you're cheating the system, it's not like it's not gonna help you. It it's not gonna help you to give yourself more points where you didn't do the work. Okay. It's your business. Honestly, I don't want to say I don't care, but I don't like if you're making up the points, it's not my business. So it's none of my business, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at this um productivity tracker, right? Skill, what are you talking about? This is the productivity tracker. It's already in the group in the file section. When I, after I go over it, I'm gonna um, show you where to find it inside the group. So this is your bomb challenge productivity tracker. Print one out every week or go ahead and print six out. You can go ahead and jot down your points for today, okay? Once you find out what the points are, how you get points, you can go ahead and put in how many points you got this um, today, right? So morning routine, we already discussed your morning routine. Your assignment is to write out your morning routine. You get one point every day for your morning routine. Either you did it or you didn't, okay? One point if you did it, zero points if you didn't, okay? One point for doing your morning routine every day personal development is part of your morning routine so if you didn't do your personal development during your morning routine or even if you did your morning routine oh okay cool your morning routine is one thing i totally check the chat and lost my train of thought. But your morning routine is one thing. You get that one point if you did it, zero points if you didn't, right? And then your personal development, if maybe your personal development is you listening to a wake up call, which is later on in the day, then you get those 10 points for that. Maybe you watched a training or did something later on, um, later on throughout. You're gonna go ahead and give yourself 10 points for that. So you get 10 points for personal development each day. If you do personal development five times a day, you do not get 50 points. You get a maximum of 10 points for personal development, okay? Maximum 10 points. 20 minutes, 10 points. Okay, so if you do an hour, that's awesome. Give yourself 10 points. If you only have do 20 minutes, that's awesome. Give yourself 10 points. Okay, content each piece of evergreen content that you create, you get 10 points. So you can get infinite number of points for creating content. Exposures, you get 20 points. We're gonna talk about these things individually in just a second. Exposures, infinite, okay? There's no ceiling on exposures. Follow-ups, infinite, no ceiling on follow-ups. Training, okay? This is not trainings that you watch. This is trainings that you present, okay? If you train someone, if you train a group of people, if you step up and be the trainer that you are as a successful business owner, you give yourself 30 points every time you train. Infinite, okay? So let's hop back over. Oh, wait. So you give your points. Write the week number, total your points every week. Screenshot or take a picture or whatever, post it in the group every Sunday. Okay. Um, let's see. Back to the presentation.
what's my time looking like? All right, we're doing good. All right, so exposures. All right, yeah. Exposures. And exposures when you find out if someone is interested and you get a commitment. Um, not spamming your links. Okay. Spamming your links is not an exposure. Getting leads is not an exposure. Okay. Doing the switch and bait. Show me you what you're doing. I'll show you what I'm doing. You know, no, that's not an exposure. Okay. Regardless if you're promoting MLSP, another affiliate company or your primary company, an exposure is showing the full presentation. If you're doing a screen share or showing videos or doing flip charts, whatever your exposure is, what that counts, okay? You get points. What, 10 points, I think it was? For every, 20 points. You get 20 points for every exposure that you do, okay? You can do 20 exposures a day. You do 20 exposures a day at 20 points each, that's 400 points in a day. Oh my gosh, I don't know how you have time to do that many exposures, but you can, okay? So it's infinite. You get infinite points for your exposures, okay? Not just slamming your link in people's inbox or a text message or whatever. I Every month, I get text messages from some random person with some random link on it. Apparently, I met them at some event because they have my phone, my real phone number. And they spam me with some kind of link. Hey, you want 500 leads this month? Click this link. Listen here. Please do not text me again. But I digress from that story, right? Following up, I believe um, you get 10 points for following up. Every time, every person you follow up with, you get points for a legitimate follow up. Okay. So if you send somebody a message or send them or call them and they don't answer the phone, they don't respond to your message, that's not a legitimate follow up. You have to actually get a decision. You are in a follow up, you're going for a yes, no, or get back with me. Okay. If you get a yes, no, or check back tomorrow, Give yourself points. If you leave a voicemail or unanswered text or message, no, that doesn't count. You have to actually get a yes, no, or get with me later, okay? In order to get points for your follow-up. Again, infinite, okay? As many follow-ups as you do a day, you give yourself points for that. Content, right? Creating content. Your content should be valuable. OK, something that your audience cares about. It has to be published. Published content, OK, making videos that you don't push publish on doesn't count. It has to be relevant information, something that your audience wants to hear, that they need to hear. OK. Pictures of your dog doing a funny trick doesn't count. OK, videos of your cat getting pushed off the side of the porch and landing on his feet doesn't count. It has to be valuable, relevant content that's actually published to the world. OK, if it's a blog post, you can't. Some people have tons of blog posts. I'm guilty. OK, that they never actually hit publish on them because maybe like me they haven't done the artwork yet or they wanted to do another post first and then do a backlink those don't count not at all not in the least okay you have to publish the content video blog mp3 podcast um periscope take it off periscope and put it on youtube facebook live take it off facebook Put it on YouTube. It needs to be searchable, okay? It needs to be, someone needs to be able to type in the topic and find it. That's what searchable means, right? 
So put it on YouTube. Um, social media posts, status updates, the weather, the kids, none of that counts. Okay, it has to be evergreen. Evergreen means forever. It's gotta you gotta be able to find it in five years. Okay. With social media, you know, you put a post up and you can't find it next week. So again, training. You don't get the 30 points for watching a training. You get 30 points for becoming the trainer, doing a hangout, a webinar, a conference call, um, anything where you're training your audience or training someone, teaching some valuable information that they can in turn take action on, okay? Make an effort to get people there. Don't just do webinars for the sake of doing webinars to an empty webinar room, okay? And you know it's empty. You know it's going to be empty. Sometimes, you know, especially when we're first starting out, we do webinars and we try to get people on and nobody shows up. That's okay if you actually tried and put forth the effort to get people on the webinar because you showed up. If nobody comes to your webinar, don't just cancel the webinar and log off. Still do the webinar. Great practice. Somebody might come in halfway through. You never know. So do the webinar. Give yourself credit for that. Give yourself points for that. That's what leaders do. Okay, that's what successful business owners do. They follow through with the process. You're a successful business owner. So I expect you to follow through with the process, right? So don't, and it doesn't count if it's just you and your friends hanging out. You gotta be teaching something. We gotta be working, right? So that's how we're going to um, track our productivity over the next six weeks before we um, really dive into this thing. These are the rules. No cross recruiting, no links to capture pages and any of that is allowed in the group. Okay. Be nice. Play fair. Um, please refrain from sharing unapproved resources. We don't want to cause any confusion. You know, I don't know everything, but if you have something that you want to share with the group, just simply run it by me first. I want to make sure that, you know, it's not going to be conflicting with anything that I'm teaching. Okay. Um, be supportive of other people in the group. Just try to restrain from becoming the teacher. Okay. Also, avoid negative language, disclaimers, excuses, whining and complaining. Oh, my gosh, I don't feel good. Oh, my gosh, I couldn't get it done today. This is such a horrible day. We don't do that here, okay? Let it go. Leave it outside, right? Manage your emotions, okay? Man up. Get her done regardless of how you feel. If you're feeling all out of whack today, get your whole life together, right? And I know it might sound a little harsh, but I'm so serious. Like when you get to the point where you can manage your emotions, <laughs> when you get to the point where you can say, you know, maybe I didn't wake up on the right side of the bed. But I've got stuff to do today. So I'm going to put my big girl pants on and get her done. Earl, I see you in the chat saying bye yesterday. <laughs> yeah. Whatever happened yesterday was yesterday. Bye yesterday. So I want to remind you again of your assignments for this week. Clean your car, your room, your workspace, your computer, desktop, whatever it is. Take a before picture and an after picture. Post it in the group, okay? I'll be doing this also. I work everywhere, so I won't be posting pictures of everywhere. I'll definitely do my desktop 
and um, my bookshelf, which is where I keep all my stuff. I'm a homeschool mom, so I have to clean up our homeschool area because that's where I spend most of my time. I work kind of during homeschool, kind of not, but you know, you'll get the gist. But I want to see your workspace where you work. If you work in your car, clean your car. Do it before and after. If that's where you spend most of your time, if that's where you do your best thinking, you need to clean your car, okay? Um, create your affirmations and your morning routine. Okay, don't forget to jot that down and get started. Fill out your your points tracker. Post it on Sunday. Okay, fill it out every day, including today, so that you can see your progression throughout the week. Be honest with yourself. Okay, be truthful with yourself. You're doing this for you. For your business, right? So I want you to be able to see your progression from day one, week one, all the way to day six, to week six, day seven, okay? Your points should quadruple over the next six weeks. And if you've been doing this for a while and you just, just need a boost, then your advanced assignment, your bonus assignment is to choose a new marketing strategy that you'll focus on for the next six weeks and master it during this challenge, okay? Starting this week. So those of you that have not been through this challenge before, this is your first night joining us. This is your first night hearing anything about this blitz. Then you need to get the tools. You need to prepare yourself for moving forward with this challenge. You need to have everything at your disposal right now because after this week, we're gonna really start hitting the pavement, okay? This is a blitz. Blitz do not happen slowly, okay? We're gonna move quickly, efficiently, and effectively, all right? So this is what this whole blitz is all about. We have group coaching and weekly training every single week, every Monday, 9 p.m. for the next five weeks, okay? Um, we're focusing on mindset and productivity. We started that tonight, okay? We started checking your mindset and laying out um, income producing productivity tonight. We're going to talk about content, prospecting, copywriting, building funnels, webinars, lead generation, audience building. All of these things will be covered and more over the next five weeks, okay? Buckle up, put your seat belt and your helmet on. It's going down in this blitz, okay? So bonuses that come along with being in this blitz? Social media evaluations, valued at $97 each, okay? Blog setup and structure, valued at $397. You get secret Facebook support groups, valued at $99. If this is your first time, you get transcendent life goal setting, a transcendent life goal setting coaching call. I am Transcendent Life, okay? Transcendent Life is my success coaching business. I focus on goal setting in Transcendent Life, okay? Goal setting, meditation, and um, just moving into a space of success. You also get my seven-day kickstart marketing blueprint to help you move through my lead, um, help you move through my lead system pro and to help you um, just Form day to day actions in this first six days to kickstart your marketing. All right. That's valued at $299. And you also get three 20 minute um, accountability coaching calls with me. Okay. Those are the bonuses of the Just Starting with the Bomb Challenge tonight. Also, the tools. I've been mentioning the tools here and there all throughout tonight. You're going to absolutely need these tools to be successful throughout this challenge. Successful business owners use these tools. 
okay? You are a successful business owner. So what are these tools to hear? Well, for one, the backup and the unbelievable community that is my lead system pro, okay? That is absolutely priceless, okay? To be able to communicate and message with high income earners, six and seven figure earners through messenger or some of them, um, a simple phone call or email just because you have this community in common, that is priceless, okay? Um, you also have you also have to have a professional customer relationship manager to be able to manage the leads that are coming in, to manage um, all the people that you're going to connect with and do your follow-ups with over these next six weeks and beyond, okay? We have done-for-you system campaigns, marketing strategies, a whole toolbox of marketing strategies um the mlsp system mastery membership which gives you access to a personally branded blog and all of these marketing strategies also you're going to need funnelizer to create um your own funnel okay because you are a successful business owner you have to be able to create your own capture pages right so also when you get started well as you get started with mlsp you get a onboarding coaching call which is valued at 800 dollars. like get it absolutely free with your membership like come on you you can't walk away from that if you don't do anything but get that coaching call you absolutely have to get that coaching call right so join the challenge now by getting mlsp okay starting with mlsp there's a if you're watching the replay of this there is a button right below this video. All you have to do is click that join us now button and you will get started with my lead system pro right now. Email your receipt to Takia at takiadhansley.com. I'll plug you into all the groups and we'll be ready to rock and roll. If you are already a member of my lead system pro, Email me at Takia at TakiaDHansley.com, okay, right there on the screen. If you don't have my email address, go ahead and screenshot this page. Send me or send me a message on Messenger. Um, hey, Takia, I'd like to join the bomb challenge. I'd like to join your six-week blitz. I'll give you further instructions on how to get started and add you to our groups, okay? So if you, you have to join by Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. If you're not in by this Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time, you're going to have to wait and see if I do the bomb challenge next year. As of right now, this is the last business opportunity marketing blitz that I'm going to host. Okay. It's definitely the last one that I'm hosting for 2017. But it's not, I don't see it in the future for 2018, just because I plan on doing some bigger things. Um, but I love this platform. I love doing this blitz. So there is a very slim possibility I'll bring it back in the spring. But who wants to wait all the way until the spring to see if I'm going to do it again when you have the opportunity to do it right now, right? So Friday, 8 p.m. is the cutoff, the absolute deadline. But we're doing coaching calls over the weekend, okay? And Monday starts week two, which means you didn't do anything for week one, so you're already behind. Get started today, okay? Right now. Go ahead and click the button below and um, get started. So, any questions? I'm going to stop the recording now. Uh, here we go.